Hey you guys, welcome back to Homesteading with SEK. I hope everyone is doing well. I am outside on my deck, you guys, getting ready to do a sea haul for y'all. So I know everybody's about ready. Everybody's about ready. Zone 88 is ready. We got a couple more weeks. We might get a cold front come through. Uh, and that might be our last horse. Usually the first week of April is our last horse date. And that may very well be the same thing this year. So, SEK did a seed haul at my local garden center, which I always do. You guys know I love my local garden center. And let's talk about what did I haul this week. All right, so we're gonna start with the Alaska sweet pea. And I think this will be my first time growing these. The Alaska sweet pea, you guys wish me luck because I haven't had like really really good luck when it comes to sweet peas or sugar snap peas so hopefully i'll be able to get a good harvest of this all right make sure y'all guys comment below if you ever grow those grew those before and then we got the wando sweet pea i have grown these before but not a great turnout so what i'm going to do with these seeds you guys is i'm going to soak them before i sow them soak before you sow all right so that's the method i'm going to be doing with these two and then last can sweet, all right? So, I got lots and lots of packs over here. And I'm gonna go through these real quick. They all mixed up, but I did a lot of lettuce haul this year. So we're gonna do romaine. We're gonna do the masculine, masculine mix. Then we're gonna do bib, the bib mix. Well, it's not a, the bib lettuce, it's not a mix. All right, we got cucumbers over here coming. The Boston Pickling. Everybody grows the Boston Pickling. The Ashley Long. This will be my first time growing the Ashley Long. So if you grew the Ashley Long, comment below. Let me know how this turned out. Is it prolific or not prolific? Emerald Velvet. I grew these probably the year before last. I'm going to give these a go again. These are some beautiful um, okra. The Emerald Velvet beautiful red color and they are also good as well okra crook neck squash we all grow squash y'all know last year i did not have a good year with the squash patch the deers came in raised the whole thing stopped the um the um the growth of all my squash last year so hopefully it'll be a better squash year this year clemson spine okra we all know that one Blue Lake Bush. I never have a problem with the Blue Lake Bush. This is prolific for me in my zone 88. Now, the Blue Lake Pole. I'm going to give these a go. These are the long, long green beans that hang down off the trellis area. So, I'm hoping for a really good harvest of these. All right, let's get to the next. All right, we got the space maker i'm sorry the space master cucumber everybody grows this one and we have the swiss card i haven't had a great turnout i did this in my first year i got a few um plants of the swiss chard but not a lot so hopefully this will be better for me this year the paris island that is that heat tolerant lettuce if you're not growing the paris island you should because it's a heat tolerant lettuce salad bowl lettuce all right get some more over here let's go with our package that's already made up and most of the time when you go to the local garden center they give you like a, a tablespoon or they do it um by a table tea and also by the um the pounds as well okay so this is my little packets i got the um coriander tomato cherry white spine this is a great pickling another white spine cucumber great pickling loose leaf lettuce black seeded simpson Okay, watermelon, the Dixie Queen, 
I never grew the Dixie Queen or tasted it, so it's probably similar to another watermelon. So this will be my first time growing this one. Comment below. Let me know if you ever grew the Dixie Queen before. All right. Cherokee Wax. This is prolific for me. That yellow green bean. Well, yellow bush bean. Okay. Little Marble Peas. First time growing the Little Marble Peas. Butter crunch lettuce, straight neck squash. Okay, first time with the rattlesnake pole. Or did I try the rattlesnake pole and it didn't do good? I would have to check one of my videos. Let me know how you guys do with these. I'm looking forward to seeing these. The rattlesnake pole bean. And more salad, red salad bowl lettuce. And the tasty green burpless um, cucumber. That's a little pack. All right, I think I got to all of them, you guys. The Wando pea, the Alaskan sweet pea, and the sugar snap pea. So these bags here are all a, like a quarter pound. Yeah. This is a lot of seeds right here. And I think these these were like maybe $2.99. The other ones was like a dollar fifty or so. Something like that. Not too much. Okay. So again, these are from my local garden center where I love to shop for my seeds. I also um will be um doing a haul from Johnny Seeds and Hall Seeds. Last year I did I think I did a lot of hauls last year. Um I'm gonna try to get the onion seeds planted up if I can. I'm going to try to do that, you guys. I'm, I'm going to try to hold myself to that. But, yeah, you guys. So, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we are definitely making tremendous progress in the garden this year. My son is working hard trying to get things um, on my raised bed situated and moved around. The uh, amount of mulch that we got, that truckload that we got, it has decomposed down. And he said it is tons and tons of worms in there. And I'm telling you, they broke that um, that most down. That soil looks so beautiful and rich out there. So he's been hauling um, plenty of that and refilling a lot of the raised beds because we all know that they they lose a lot of the soil as time go on. So um, that's what he's been working on for me. He's helping me out a lot. All right, you guys. So this is SEK the Homestead. I got to get out here and get some work done. It's beautiful out here. Um, Y'all see all my little fruit trees back here. They have survived the winter, even though we didn't have a tough, tough winter this year. But my Comquat, my Loquat, and my Wari Satsuma, they still here. My son done dug up blueberries that have um, died, and these suckers is going in the ground this year. I know I said that last year, didn't I, y'all? I know. But they going in the ground this year. I'm not babysitting them no more. And they have had, I think, three seasons, and they have survived. So, it's time for them to go on the ground. All right, family. SEK The Homestead, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for tuning in. I am still on the grind, and I am still the goat. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.